Hello viewers, I've had some people ask to see a video tour of the shop and studio area. I've also had some people ask to show a video of all the fans that I have in my collection. I'll do the best I can with the second one. Not everything's on the surface, so I'm not going to get everything, but I'll show a good number of it. Today is June 1st, 2020. Coldest June I ever remember. 57 degrees. It's a mild winter, but it's been a very, very cold spring and summer. Is it even summer yet? I don't know. Anyways, so this is uh, this is the shop here. I'll start. I'll start over here at the door. Okay, so this is what it looks like. These lights haven't worked in years. It's kind of a going trend in this room that hasn't worked in years too. The doorbell hasn't worked. Well, I'm too busy doing other things to be bothered with that. So uh, inside here we have this telephone. And this is the telephone that I use and when I sit over there in that room. So this phone, this phone gets quite a bit of use. And uh, when we come in here we have... There used to be a lot more Lasco Galaxy oscillating fans. I recently put some of them upstairs, uh, but they were all the way over to the end. So we got those. And down here I've got a lot of books and some magazines, sewing fan selection guides, a whole bunch of different stuff. And we've got some miscellaneous items on uh, top of that shelf. There are some box fans. Some telephones. Most all the telephones that you're going to see in here are ones that are waiting to be cleaned and or repaired because telephones I store upstairs. I try to only store fans in here because that's really all the room that I have in here. So, um, let's see here. We have on this side some wire, uh, telephones, some fans I have to get cleaned up. A couple sewing fans. Years and years ago, back when I had nothing else to do and life was a lot simpler, I sorted through a big box of screws and I tacked up these things on a wall with all different kinds of screws. Pretty sure those have all been used up by now. We have some brooms over here, a couple of uh, pedestal fan pedestals, some sewing fan down rods. And then moving over to this shelf, we have um, we have box fans and window fans of various different kinds, some Vornado, some Marvin, a couple of clock radios. And then we have some new in box sewing fans. And we have, uh, oh, the camera lens needs to be cleaned. We have some uh, radios, both the boombox format and more clock radios. Over here, we've got uh, some more sewing fan boxes, a couple new in box fans over there, some cordless phones more cordless phones. Again, these are all phones that need to get cleaned and or repaired. A couple of miscellaneous incomplete sewing fans down here. It's a daggone shame this fan is incomplete because this has a really cool finish. Over here is where I store all the sewing fan blades. I wrap them up in paper and I stack them up like that. And as far as the motors go, I just hang them up on the beams here. And there's been some talk about uh, different collectors uni using this uh, Unistrat stuff to hang the fans. Now, I don't quite understand it. It seems like uh, this works just fine because they're all, you know, varying heights anyways. So I can kind of, well those aren't, but like here I can kind of overlap them. And if I was to move all these down and make them closer together, I would be able to fit several more per, per row. Um, but I, I don't think the habitat's open. It hasn't been open in months, 
So I haven't, or maybe it's been open up, I haven't been going in months, so I haven't been getting any sewing fans, so I'm kind of just leaving that alone. But uh, we got quite a few sewing fans there. And as far as the sewing fan blade irons go, I have a box, which I believe is in the other room, in the closet. It looks kind of like, uh, kind of like that box here, very tall. And I wrap them up in bubble wrap and I label them with the fan they go on. That particular box holds a lot of light fixtures and shades. There's another box of light fixtures around here somewhere. I don't know, maybe it's another room. Anyway, so moving on, we have uh, some vintage dehumidifiers. All with R500 or R22, of course. This is the one that I use here in the shop. I think this probably has some water in it. Uh, and this is the one that you always hear in the background of the videos. This one does a good job to keep some of the uh, moisture down when I open the windows. It's off right now. It's not even plugged in, actually. Um, and then moving on, we have some drawers here with miscellaneous things. We've got some ducts and tape. This bottom drawer tape is only one that I really use regularly. I don't know what half of the stuff is in here. Just we got some night lights, some hooks, some manuals, and uh, eventually I'm going to be moving a lot of stuff around, I don't even a lot of stuff, but some stuff, because what I want to do is get certain items to be more accessible than others. For instance, this box houses the uh, TPI's F18TE fan, and that's something I want to have access to much easier, so I'm probably going to take that box and uh, you know these batteries must fall 15 times a week and I keep putting them up here and uh, this is just a small piece of evidence that I'm going insane because I keep putting these here even though I know they're gonna fall over the next time I walk by and, and knock the shelf over or not knock the shelf and bang into the shelf anyways um, so what I'm probably going to do is take some of these box fans, like maybe that one for instance, because it's in really rough condition. That's going to be a big project to get that back in good order. And I don't ever use it. So I'd rather have that one under there where I can't get to it and have that box over here where I can get to it. Uh, behind there we have the old bathroom, bathroom exhaust fan. That was a cool fan. I miss having that up in the bathroom. Anyways, uh, moving on, there's some more phone stuff over here, again, phones that need to be cleaned up and repaired. We got some audio equipment under here, this is a uh, 5.1 surround amplifier, or receiver, I guess is the technically correct term. And there is actually a surround sound system in here. Years ago, this room was kind of more of a multi-purpose room, and there was a a television set over there. First it was over there and then it was over there. Actually no, many many years ago it was over there then it was over there and then went back to over there and uh, this kind of was like a, a dual purpose room. I would sit down here and watch television occasionally. Had a couple of chairs. Now it's really just a storage room because I've ran out of space otherwise. Uh, not in this video but in some video in the near future maybe the far future, who knows at this point. Um, I'm going to show some old photographs of this room. Because I have a number of them. This to show what it looked like over the years. I don't have as many photographs of it when I first came here. So I wasn't taking a lot of photographs back then, which is really a shame. I wish I was. But I do have a number of photographs, so I'll, I'll pile them together and I'll narrate over them just so we can see what this room looked like over the years because it has undergone quite a bit of change. So moving on we have some oscillating or oscillating whatever you want to call it fans, some box fans, some more clock radios, some sewing fans blades for fans I want to test before I put the blades away, more oscillating or oscillating fans Got some pedestal fans here. These are really such a nuisance to store because they take up so much space. And other than convolutedly balancing them on, on themselves and pieces of cardboard, there's really not a good way to store them efficiently. 
So back here we have window fans, box fans, and more box fans. These are mostly in the box. One high velocity fan over there. Uh, we have a bag of backgrounds for when I used to have the uh, studio um, before I had the carpet there. I don't really use those too much anymore. On the top I got some more fans in the boxes. The old Sears window fans back there. Let's see here in this cabinet I've got quite an array of things. Uh, some similar fans, oscillating fans, some old fans. Uh, some phone stuff, air hoses, a couple air tools. I think I have some more air hoses and air tools in there. So that's that. Um, this vacuum is the only thing that I really don't have a good place for, and it kind of just floats around annoyingly. At some point, I will I will do something better with that. This shelf here is where all the really old fans reside. It's kind of a shame that they're back here out of sight. It's not intentional, it's just because this was the first shelf that was ever in this room. And at the time when I put that there, none of this stuff was even in the picture. This was all just open area, and so it was totally visible. But times have changed, and uh, everything else has kind of built up over the years, and so these have lost their visibility. There's a lot of nice fans here, I really should... I have been actually, I've been getting to this, I've been pulling some of these out and doing videos of them, but I need to get to all of them. So we also have some other fans here, we have the big uh, Max Air fan, a couple of pedestal fans, and uh, there's some newer fans over here as well. And that's the old GE fan, or Gray Bar I think is the brand. I've had some people ask to see a video of that fan, and I do have some old videos of it, but I'm not sure if I can get another video of it anytime soon. I have to move that light because I keep hitting my head on it, because uh, this is really kind of jammed in there. I suppose I could probably move some of these boxes and record it. I don't know, we'll see, that's going to be a, a production for another day. We've got some uh, sewing fans up there some technology that I really need to do videos of and um, a couple more fans up there some parts to things frog fan the thermometer and uh, a lot of rubber bands so anyways that's that um, on this shelf there's two, two shelves here on this shelf we have uh, all of the, the complete Lakewood HV series, complete all the sizes. We've got the HV4 through the HV21, a couple of old patent fans, vintage air conditioner with again R22 in it, a couple of box fans, this window fan which I've been asked about as well. This is going to be a several hour project to get that cleaned and serviced, although I am going to do it one of these days. Um, and a Honeywell fan, i got to revisit that couple of vintage box fans I have shown recently and some more phone stuff so this is the studio this is where uh, all this magic happens it's uh, well, this is the familiar view from over here and I got all the lights and um, yes there is a stupid LED light bulb up there the you know, other one burned out and I, I ran out of bulbs and I can't get to the store to get new ones so I had to put that in there for the time being but don't worry I'll get it out very soon as soon as possible um, so we got some more fans over here on this shelf anyways um, all the tools hanging up the window which I, I have that thing in there so that the sun doesn't come in and then yell at all the fans I got a whole bunch of stuff under here, what a phone power cords, telephones, um, some old CFLs and some selling fan parts, some toolboxes. And uh studio phone, all the testing equipment is under here. I'm uh, moving over, I have uh this is the let's get the lights on, the incandescent lights on. 
Now it is incandescent and I'm about to offer clear and convincing evidence as such. There we go. Um, this is the shop office, if you will. I've got the computer here, and it just fell. And I got a lot of miscellaneous household items here. Electrical timers, paracords, outlet splitters, the hot glue, soldering stuff. And uh, this computer, I don't use it very often. Primarily because the the ergonomics are really bad because it's not a desk. It's a, well, it actually would be fine if I didn't have all those boxes there. But the problem is I can't sit close enough to the keyboard for it to be comfortable. And so this computer rarely gets used beyond, um, you know, referencing a manual or, or looking at pictures when I'm trying to take something apart. Or for playing music. I use it to play music occasionally. Uh, but that's about it. This computer doesn't get used much anymore. Uh, but it's a nice little thing to have, and it comes in handy several times when I'm doing videos over there. So that's that. Um, we're pretty much at the end of the shop. This is an item I'll underscore. This is the uh, AT&T 210. It's been here for many, many years. Almost every time I walk by it, because the pathway is kind of narrow, I do hit it. It's never fallen. And so for that reason, I, I'm probably never going to move it, but what I should have done is mounted it there. This is another thing that got set up when this desk wasn't here and so the pathway was twice as large and it wasn't an issue but it's become an issue. Um, over here we have um, not really stuff related to the collection. This is more just miscellaneous things. Extension cords, leaf blowers, some screws, different, different sprays and caulks. A couple sanders, some saws. Uh, there's some telephones down here. That's about it. There's one other area down here that I use occasionally for storage. This has some uh, some stuff that we use regularly in the shop. We have the soldering iron, hot, hot air uh, heat gun thing. A couple of phones I gotta move upstairs, reflow gun, telephone equipment. So there's some stuff in there. Oh, there's the ceiling fan light thing I was talking about. No, that's the blade irons, ceiling fan blade irons. So that's that. Oh, we'll show this as well. This is the uh, cleaning area. We do most of the cleaning here. Got a vintage liquid heater. There's the water equipment that I always talk about when I go over here doing uh, testing videos. This is where I, I come and I stand over here. This is the furthest point because uh, the shop is over there. Oh, I stand over here and it's as far as I can go without going upstairs. And there is a piece of junk uh, made in China, potentially explosive dehumidifier in here, which is not mine. I would never use something like that. I have my vintage one that I use which works a million times better. Uh, but anyways, that's that. The camera's running out of battery. My voice is getting tired. I'm getting tired. It's late. It's time to go to sleep. Um, so that's going to wrap up this video. This is what the shop looks like. It's, it's pretty packed. Um, I've been in this shop for 11 years. So this is 11 years worth of uh, my collection in this room. And a little bit more because I had some stuff when I came here, but primarily it's 11 years of uh, accumulation. And I've outgrown the room in more ways than one. And I'm hoping that uh, once I get back to work and I'm comfortable with the stability of the situation, a relocation will be one of the first major events that transpires. But until then, this is it. This is where... The vast majority of the videos get recorded. Normally I have a better ceiling fan in here, but I had that one up just for nostalgia purposes. Um, so anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching.